But what ended up happening is I had to make a really tough decision. We're going back and forth, trying to negotiate, trying to figure out what we're going to do. And, uh, you know, they're like, no, like you have to pick one. You have to either, you're going to be a YouTuber or you can be a special angel homeland, but you're not going to do both. You know, fortunately, we, you know, we made some moves, etc. you know, and we kind of saw, knew that the type of content that we make for us to be able to give you this content, we have to... It comes at a cost. It comes at a cost, dude. And it won't be here forever. Yeah. And, and, and we you know, know Fresh always it. said this, you know, enjoy us while you can. Yeah. All right. All right. And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh and Fit Podcast, man. Um, as you guys know, we had a show scheduled earlier with, um, Psych with Psych Hacks, but we had to uh, cancel because we got some really, uh, you know, sucky news. Um, <laughs> crazy news. Yeah. Crazy news. Real talk. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Rumble, um and guys i mean <sighs> is this the end bro because uh we got some bad news man uh i mean when i heard that, i was i was shocked because i mean we love youtube man yeah we love streaming yeah and um at this point i feel like our whole lives are revolved around streaming and like yeah adding value to, to you know people online it's just like <sighs> it won't be the same bro yeah what um, we heard in 2020 guys uh, as you guys know um yeah i was working for the government right i was a special agent of homeland security he worked for fuck it wix we'll just call it yeah right um, wix.com yeah and uh you know he was a tech support i was arresting bad guys etc we started this podcast we did our first episode on october 26 2020 it was a lot of fun yeah, yeah. and um yeah chris was there the uh, apartment was all empty and shit and uh you know and we had our first podcast the, the if you guys go back and watch it like the the thing was all zooming in and out and everything else like that and it was all messed up it was like and, we're at uh, a host, host club yeah in and out yeah it yeah. was it was the literally camera. yeah <laughs> uh but we got it figured out we got the lighting fixed and you know we continued to improve uh fresh landed some really good guests early on um and continues to get us a, a great guest and um and we made hours of content in the streets TikTok patreon yeah you know many nights three in the morning four in the morning yeah. chris was there too yeah, while working from, jobs yeah. while working jobs and then uh and then i'll never forget uh i get an email november like 14th internal affairs hey we need you to come in for an interview and i'm like oh my god here we go right and i'm working at the government sitting at my desk writing up a report and i see this email yeah. and this is 2020 november and I, uh, you know, <clears throat> I go, uh, you know, I let my supervisor know, hey, I got to go up to, you know, the internal affairs office, right? Because it's not at the same building as us. And, you know, I go over there and they, and they take my phone and I'm like, what the hell? Like, what's going on here? And then, you know, and then they're like, they didn't want to tell me, but they're like, uh, you know, hey, you know, we're part of an internal investigation. Next day I meet up with the, you know, the special agent in charge. And they tell me, hey, it has to do with your YouTube. And right there, I clicked. I was like, wait, wait hold on. Okay. They probably think that I'm recording videos on my phone. <laughs> like, that's what's, what it is, which it was a fucking, like, iPhone 6 or 7. It was a piece of shit. Uh, and um, <clears throat> and uh, what ended up happening is I had to make a really tough decision that month. I remember going back and forth, trying to negotiate, trying to figure out what we're going to do. And, uh, you know, they're like, no, like, you have to pick one. You have to either... You're going to be a YouTuber or you can be a special agent homeland, but you're not going to do both. And I had to make that decision. I remember you were there. Yeah. We had Andrew here and I was like, well, we got people working for us now. There's people that depend on us. You had to pretty much quit your gig. So I was like, all right, I'm going to resign. And I walked in December 5th, turned in all my stuff. And, uh, yeah, I walked away from the, from the U S government. It was a, it was a good you know a six figure job uh it was stable it was a lot of fun i enjoyed it you guys know on my fed reacts you guys see how i talk when i'm when i'm uh, talking on that channel and uh yeah and and i haven't i say i tell you guys that story to tell you that i haven't felt like that since today and um it sucks guys it really does suck um you know fortunately we you know we made some moves etc you know and we kind of saw knew that the type of content that we make 
for us to be able to give you this content we have to it comes at a cost it comes at a cost dude. and it won't be here forever yeah and, and, and we you know, know Fresh always it. said this you know enjoy us while you can yeah yeah uh they thought we was capping man yeah they thought it was a joke and and you know we did we made moves on the side knowing that this could potentially happen and guys we, we the channel has been kicked off the youtube partner program just keep it straight if with you look right now you can't even super chat or you can't even remember. super chat right now yep uh, so this is the beginning of the end of this era so we are in trolling chat so yeah, yeah. so you, you literally can't yeah man so it's uh so basically we're <laughs> we're gonna figure out what it, what's going on because we don't even really know all the details um we're working with youtube to try to come to a middle ground and you know work together and figure this out but for now we don't even know why we yeah we yeah. don't know the specific reason um Misogyny. but but we don't in any form or fashion <laughs> chris hate youtube or want to go at them we're just saying you know what we wish we knew the reason why but we respect you know phenomenal use, use the platform and keeping us here for a while and like yeah you know we appreciate it yeah but, and, um, and, and the thing is is that you guys know right on this uh pod we push the edge right we put we push the envelope where there's no we're not gonna lie about that like we give you guys the real deal when it comes to getting in shape when it comes to money girls money dating, dating improving yourself etc and unfortunately to be able to give people real advice that they can take in real life and apply to the real world you have to have uncomfortable conversations about uncomfortable topics in uncomfortable times guys it's about to be an election year you know what i mean we're talking about certain points and we've brought up certain points that might not be politically correct right that might not necessarily align with everyone's viewpoints right and we've worked really hard to bring people on that have different viewpoints right some of them very controversial some of them that may, may or may not be um politically correct and that's unfortunately the risk that you take when you make the kind of content that we do even other platforms look at rumble they're taking a huge beating on the stock market yeah i mean they're up despite having one of the best years for um, revenue. revenue and for views and everything and um, so this comes at a cost no matter who you are company yeah. individual creator yeah and a lot of you guys want to be aspiring rb creators as well and i respect that but just know at a certain level it will cost you a price you got to pay and uh i think me and myron understand this and we were <laughs> saying you know what at some point we're gonna have to deal with, deal with this price and today's a day yeah yeah and and my thing is guys um more than ever <laughs> real talk more than ever I know a lot of you guys send me messages and I trust me, I look at them. I really do look at them. And as a matter of fact, I save them too. Cause I sent some of them to fresh today. Yeah. When you guys send me your DMS and say, yo, you saved my life. Yo, you sent me a picture of your credit score. Yo, my girl is making sandwiches now or whatever it is. Right. Um, that really means a lot to us. Right. We've helped a lot of you guys, um, from killing yourselves, from injuring yourself, from making a really bad decision or doing something that, that you can't um necessarily take back what i'm asking you guys is just like we've saved you guys we need you guys to save us we need you guys to support us on rumble because that's the last bastion of free speech at this point